Hello, this is Santa Skip. We're back out of here at Drive Range. I know I haven't done any driving range videos in a while. Uh, if you guys like this, like this content or any other content on my channel, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. But uh, yeah, this is a continuation of the the last golf video I made, the three tips to a better golf swing. And I've been working on mine more and more. I got my I got three clubs with me today. I got my what I call my A wedge. It actually it's a 50 used to be a 55 degree sand wedge. For some reason it uh, de-lofted itself. It's now a 48 degree. I don't know how I lost seven degrees on it, but oh well, no big deal. I got my seven iron and I got my driver. But uh, the, the three steps of you know, controlling the takeaway, finishing the back swing, and then following through. You know, that's the three steps you really need to really need to do. Get back a little bit more. You have a better better idea. You know, Bryson DeChambeau made a comment uh, a few weeks ago, I think it was. He was talking to a, bu a bunch of people before uh, at a driving range or before a tournament or whatever. And he says, if you, if, if the swing feels uncomfortable, change it. Don't use it because it's not going to work for you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to include the grip, the stance, you know, whatever you feel is uncomfortable in your swing, do change it because you can't be consistent if you're uncomfortable with your swing or with your grip or with your stance. I mean, even in the middle of the in the middle of the swing, if you feel like, oh, I'm too close to the ball, well, then re reset yourself, resituate yourself, and do and restart it. You know. That's all you got to do. You know. Resit resituate your swing. Till you, till you feel. You feel comfortable. I'm just getting a feel for my shots right now. You need to try and practice the way the I'm gonna turn that camera a little bit. There we go. Try and practice as, a, as the pros practice, you know, start a line, just kind of work your way back. You know, I've changed my grip so much and everything. Oh, that wasn't any good. See, I even get in a hurry and I blow it. Look up and everything else. That was a good swing. That felt good. <coughs> but you need to, that's what you need to do is you need to complete your swing. <coughs> now I changed my grip. I'm trying to trying to put my fingers, these two, this center part of my knuckles. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Center part of my knuckles. On the grip, and it causes me to overlap. Actually, I can turn it under to go like that. But you get a grip that works for you. Now I will. Right now, I'm working the swing I'm working on to drive it more consistent. It's working pretty good. Is I'll take my club to help me control my my back my my takeaway my 
throw my take away. I'll raise my hand up, my fingers up. So this is doing most of the control. And it, if I'm using it to control my swing, my takeaway, I'm able to face my backswing and then, and then get my downswing down right. As long as I don't try and kill it. A lot of times that's what I do, is I end up trying to kill it. I'll hit a few more like this, three more, and then we'll go to the seven iron, we'll do the same thing. Now I, I do work on a lot of punch shots, because I, I have more control of short distances with my punch shots, as opposed to trying to hit a full shot every time. Ah. That was not any good. Pick my head up. You see, I'm not perfect. I make bad shots a lot. But I do, I'm doing everything I can to try and make good shots. So I'm trying, that's why. I work on trying to, I work on my swing, my consistency, my tempo. Now we'll go to a seven iron. We'll do the same thing with a seven iron. I'll take six balls see the swing see the swing should never change from each club I picked that one right off the right off the turf didn't even take a divot so I know I didn't hit it right That was a good one. When you make a good shot, you actually can feel it and you can hear it. Get that right clip, clip sound in it, and it's here. It sounds, it feels good. That one was just a little thin. But you can see what I'm doing. Finishing my backswing. It's working out okay. Then we'll do the same thing with the driver, and you'll see it. This last one with the seven iron. And yes, I did bring some cheese out. Yes. 
Yeah, I'm also working on trying to get my feet set correctly. When you feel like your feet are too close, too far back, you hit the ball, especially with the driver, hit off the toe, it's like, okay, I need to move forward just a tad bit. If I hit off the heel, I need to move back a little bit. Maybe like a quarter step, half step. And I just fling my wrist on that one. I need to work on teeing it down a little bit. There we go. Now I hit a few of these, then I'll put you behind me, and you can see what it's like down the line with all three clubs. Ah, a little bit of a draw. Not bad. I think it finished off about 270. Which is not the greatest. That one, of course, 20 years ago I was hitting over 300. So I take my clubs and I put it right here. And this, that's working, it's working good for me. Let me know what you think of my swing. Give me a comment about what you think of my swing. All right, up the toe. I'm gonna hit a couple more. Then we'll go to the go to behind behind me. I hate right off toe again. Well, that was the ball was dead. That didn't go nowhere. Excuse me, didn't go anywhere. I think the tee went further than the ball. Okay, now we're gonna move you to the back. I'll just leave you running. I'm not even in the picture. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Now I felt uncomfortable on that swing. I felt like I was too close to the ball. There we go. Hit a couple more, and I'll go to my back to my seven iron. 
and see, we'll finish off with my sand iron. Working better now. Okay. Now we'll go back to the seven iron. You only have to hit four of these, and I can hit five of the five of the uh, my alternate wedge, for lack of a better term. Ah, oh, razor! Oh, I'm actually picked out five of these. <laughs> that one was horrible. Picked my head right up. Doing it twice in a row. That's not good. Let's hit a wet, let's hit punches. As you can see, I'm not that good. For some reason I'm raising up. I'm not fin I'm not allowing my my swing to finish. I maybe controlling my back swing, my takeaway, but I'm not finishing my back swing. Hopefully I can do better with this club. A little bit longer swing here. There we go. And the final one. Ah. Still went out there. Got a little fat though. Well, I hope you like this video. You can see I'm not, I still got a lot of work to do. My game's kind of so-so. But, uh, like I said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Maybe you can give me a tip or two. That'd be nice. But, uh, until next time, y'all take care. God bless and have a wonderful week.